hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can install debian on our windows 10 device and we'll be using virtualbox as the hypervisor now the first thing you need to do is to get the iso image for debian so open a browser and search for debian download and then go to the site that says debian.org and here you'll see there's different install options. There's a small installation image. You can also do like a live system from a CD, DVD, uh, USB, or you can do the full install. And since we're doing the full install, we'll need to download one of these, 64-bit or 32-bit. So I already did the download and I have the ISO image. Now, once you have the image, you can proceed with the installation just open Oracle VirtualBox and begin the installation. Now to begin the installation, you can either select new from here or you can go to machine, new, and then start by naming your uh, Debian virtual machine, uh, Debian. And then you need to select the folder where you want the virtual machine to be installed. The ISO image, you can either select other right now or you can attach it later so i'm going to attach the iso image later uh, the type of a virtual machine is linux it's debian 64 bit i'm not doing unattended install uh, hardware you can increase your memory if you want to say 4 gb and the processor you can also increase depending on how many you have and let's go to the hard disk and i'm going to increase mine to 40 gb and i'll click finish and there's the virtual machine. I'm going to right click on it and go to settings. Now under settings, you can just look around and see what you, you need to change. For instance, if you want to be able to share the clipboard, you'll need to enable this. If you want to do copy and paste as well, drag and drop by directional. So just make sure you check that. And then let's move down display. You can increase this. You can maximize if you want. storage we need to attach the iso image so right now it says uh it's empty so click on this go to this icon click on it and then choose a disk file go to where you downloaded your iso image and then select it click open and now it's attached uh let's look at the network you can leave the default you can use not but for me, I like to access my machine from within my network, my local network. So I'm going to select a bridged adapter here. And the rest I'm going to leave as default. Let's double check here. And I'm going to move this to the top. And that's it. Click OK. And now you can power on the machine. Right click, start, normal start. Okay, and the virtual machine is starting it's going to be graphical install so press enter to select the option okay select the language it's english d by default i'll click continue uh, location leave the default continue keyboard default Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and come back if we have to input anything. Okay, here it's asking to enter the host name. I'm gonna leave the default here as Debian. Click continue. It's asking for domain name. You can just put whatever you want. Say, you uh, know, .com. Now here we need to set the root password. So just set the root password for this uh, Debian for this Debian machine. And then re-enter the password. And then click continue here. And then you need to put the user full name of the user I'll just do you know and then the username for that user 
continue. Then you need to set a password for that user you just created. Click continue. You need to set up your clock, select your time zone, and then click continue. I'm gonna pause here again. So here it's asking for the partitioning method. I'm gonna go with the default guided use entire disk. Click continue. And I'm gonna go with the default for partition. I'm gonna put all the files on the same one partition. I'm not gonna separate them. Continue. This is the overview. So I'm just gonna click continue. And then it's asking if you wanna write the changes to the disk. Click yes. Continue. And I'll pause again. Okay, so here it's asking if you wanna scan additional media. So the option is gonna be no. And then I'll click continue. So here it's asking if you wanna use a network mirror. I'm gonna go with no for now. So click continue. Okay, I'm going with no here as well. I'll click continue. And here you have the option to select additional software. I'm gonna go with the defaults for now. If you want it like a SSH server, web server, you can install those as well. Actually, I'm gonna install the SSH server and then I'll click continue. Again, I'm gonna pause the video. So here it's asking whether we wanna install the grab bootloader. Yes, we do wanna install that. So click continue. And here it's asking for us to select the device for bootloader installation. So it's gonna be this option right here. Select that and click continue. And at this point it's uh, finishing the installation. It should be done here soon. So the installation is done. All we have to do is reboot. So I'll click continue here. And I'll come back once the system is rebooted. Okay, and we have the login screen. The, the username is the one we created. So we click on the username and put in the password for this username that we created during the installation. And we are logged in. So you can just click on that. This is the welcome window here. You can click on next, 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 skip. And that's it. You can right click. You can change the background if you want it. So with the settings here, you can work on the different settings like your network the appearance and stuff like that and uh, let's search for the terminal there is the terminal so let's see if we can change the font on the terminal right click right click and go to preferences and then custom font increase to 16 you can also change the font style Select, close it, and you can check if you have a valid IP. I do have a valid IP. You can check if you have internet access. So ping send account three to google.com, and I'm able to ping google.com. Three packets transmitted, two received. Uh, we can also check the version we are running. Uh, it's the OS release. And it's version 12. So that's all for this video. That's how you can install Debian on a Windows 10 machine using VirtualBox as the hypervisor. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.